This is the video demo for our chatbot called Gem Class, and it's built to use generative AI for learning rather than um, a cheating tool, uh, as most students are using it today. So you can see we've started off with the Harvard CS50 model, um, and we've asked it to implement binary search, um, you know, to try to simulate a student uh, taking this class who is confused on it. Um, as you can see, we explicitly asked it to give us the code in Python, but um, it did not do that. Rather, it explained the underlying concept. So you start in the middle, you compare if it's larger, smaller, um, and it explains how to do it. So um, to show another example, we're going to go to CS447, and uh, you know, this is a com computer organization and assembly type class. Um, so we're going to say, you know, uh, do a for loop in MIPS, right? So we switched to a different class, um, and let's go ahead and take a look. And then also at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and do it the same thing in ChatGPT just to uh, try to show a comparison because we believe that you know this is the model that uh, most students are currently using. <clears throat> so it's going to start off with pseudocode, and then it's going to go ahead and give the equivalent MIPS code. Now, this isn't necessarily going to help pit students because um, we used a different version of MIPS that the professor actually went underneath the hood and re-implemented themselves. So this is not necessarily going to be too helpful for Pitt students. Um, if we go ahead and look at our model, um, we can see it's using the different style of MIPS specifically used at the University of Pittsburgh. Um, you know, it's sort of giving the, the syntax that, you know, that would work for, uh, for our code. So we're going to go ahead and see that this, that our model is going to be a little bit more help than just a base model. So um, I guess this kind of confirms our theory that um, fine-tuning models towards classes um, can be beneficial f for learning.